Hello everybody, we are in Osaka, you watched a few videos about Tokyo and the last video uh, was about us traveling on the bullet train, on Shinkansen train from Tokyo to Osaka. And is it Osaka different than Tokyo or it is the same? Because many people ask what is the difference. You know, in my opinion, only one difference you notice. It is smaller. And it feels like it is this city is smaller than Tokyo. Everything else is I think the same. Big different buildings. It is clean, of course. We are going on the top of that sky building. If you look at the internet, it will tell you that you must visit this sky building. Is it worth it? I don't know. You have to decide. Uh, you just go on the top, on the 40th floor and walk around and look at the view of the city Osaka. Is anything interesting? You can see... Um, I don't think so. Just buildings, uh, bridges, and that's it. One floor down, these are the love lock things. You can say, Susie loves Johnny and Johnny loves Susie and put forever. it in forever and put it in one of those little things and lock it up here. And I guess you then will stay in love <laughs> as long as it stays up here, I suppose. But of course you have to pay to do this. You buy your heart lock here and you can put it up there on the 40th floor. The really bustling modern Dotenbori tourist district of Osaka is actually a very old area. We are on the famous Ebisbashi bridge, I think I pronounced correctly. Of course, people take pictures here for the memory of this place. There's a canal waterway running right through it, and that's kind of the reason for its existence. It goes all the way back to 1612, believe it or not, when it was founded by a merchant as a way to link a river with a canal and broaden some trade opportunities and it's grown since then. Now it's really a restaurant, a nightlife and a tourist district, but it's an old district and historic district of Osaka as well and a beautiful one too. Can you imagine how this place looked in 1612 if these pictures are from 1900s? Ben said that this group that is down here probably starts some kind of revolution. <laughs> One of the main reasons people come to Osaka is the fact that it has a reputation as a real food city. In fact, it um, 
has kind of an unofficial slogan, city slogan, which is interpreted to mean eat till you drop or eat till you run out of money or something of that sort. But at any rate, it's a, it's a real food city and it's famous for some specific kinds of food and, and Japanese food generally. Of course, not everybody comes to this famous place to spend a lot of money for food. Some people come to work to make money. If you are a chocolate lover, this is the right place for you. They have matcha chocolate. It is like white chocolate and cream flavored with Japanese green tea powder. It looks so interesting. in the Daltonbori area of Osaka is where you'll find a lot of the most famous restaurants. But if, when you look at some of these restaurants and what they serve, you'll understand why they're not particularly interested to me, interesting to me. For example, the Haraju restaurant, which is extremely famous, serves Japanese beef shabu shabu and sukiyaki in Daltonbori. Kukuru is an octopus restaurant. Since I'm not really into octopus, puffer fish, or those sorts of things, um, I'm not really into these kind of restaurants. But if you are, and if that's the sort of food you're looking for, then you can certainly find it in the Dotonbori area of Osaka, the very famous Dotonbori district. Uh -huh. Look at the cow. Look at over there. What's there? There is another famous restaurant, Kani Douraki, if I pronounce correctly. It is a super popular crab restaurant. Kani Douraki is a easily recognized by the giant moving crab on its shop front. But if you want to eat here, it is a good idea to book a table in advance because the waiting time can be as long as three hours. Here you can try a melon bread ice cream sandwich. Melon bread. It doesn't have melon taste. Uh, it calls melon because the crust looks like a melon, but it doesn't take, taste like a melon. So uh, between two buns, you have just ice cream. That's it. <laughs> Look at that crap, it is moving too. <laughs> Is it 
scared you? I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. Just honk at this. Octopus balls? Yep. 300. Takoyaki, that's what they call it. Takoyaki. Here you can see another famous restaurant, Kushikatsu Daruma. It's, it is serving deep fried kebabs uh, with meat fish and vegetables. And actually the first restaurant was opened in 1929. And I mentioned before uh, when uh, we were in Tokyo that sometimes you go in the store and there is so much of everything sweet like cookies, some sort of chocolate. You don't even know what it is. It looks like tape. It looks like apple to me. Apple? <laughs> ben is looking. He said like cheesecake. Toby pudding. Toby pudding? All cookies look so strange. Osaka Mitarachi Mo Moki. What is it? Mitarachi Moki. Mit Osaka Mitarachi Moki. Buy it. No. For, for what reason? <laughs> to eat. <laughs> so, if you like food, maybe new to try new food and you like big crowd it is your place visit the Dattenbori area in Osaka next time we will be in Kyoto it will be very interesting see you next time goodbye